हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ व्यू वीडियो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड अ न्यू व्यू फाइल इन द यूज़र डायरेक्टरी एंड ओपन दिस इन द वेब पेज एंड नाउ द टाइम इज़ टू ओपन अ व्यू डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द वेब फाइल सो देर इज अ डिफरेंट वे सो लेट मी गो देयर एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू राउट हेयर it's a route and let's uh, test uh, it's a test routes and i'm opening this using closure and uh, yes it's a function so here you can also open a view file like this greeting okay you can also uh, there is a different way like a return view and here you need to specify your view name so there is a greeting so let me type a greeting here and uh, when i will visit this route it will open the greeting this blade file so it's a uh, it's directly available here right so let's go here and type here a uh, test okay and yes it's now rendering the greeting right so that is a simpler one now we open this uh, view file directly by using this route in the web.php file so let's comment out it and uh, let's go to the user controller and now i want to pass a variable to this index view so how i can pass so let me uh, put something is my name <laughs> my name is and there is uh, here the variable will comes so let me return a variable from this controller so let me create a variable first the name equal a hadi niazi and then i need to pass this name so there is a variety of ways you can pass this so there is a first uh, and it is defined like you can pass this in the array form so like this you can first is the key of array and the other is the value like name so this will be available in this view because we are returning this from view method so let's go there name is and you need to uh, put this mustachi sign and you are all variable should work with in the mustachi sign my name is so it will return this hadi niazi so let's go to the uh, hadi uh, let's go to the users and yes it's now returning my name is hadi niazi so we are dynamically getting the variable from the controller right so there is another way to pass this variable with with method right so the first one is the key and the other one is the name so let's go there and refresh it and yes the name is still available in our view so there is uh, the third method you can also use this which is my favorite so it's uh, compact oops not this one yes so let me try this it's a compact and you need to uh, type a variable without dollar signs so it will be available in your view file so let's uh, save this one and refresh it and yes our variable is still available in the web browser so we learned about the dynamic variable how we can pass our dynamic variable to our view file the view is rendered here right so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe my youtube channel i'm recording videos on the daily basis so stay connected for more coming updates bye bye